have you noticed that the whole concept of COVID-19 being manufactured in a Chinese military laboratory has gone away? We've now passed worldwide over 16 million confirmed cases of the virus. And sadly, over 652,000 deaths. In the United States alone, there's 4.3 million confirmed cases of COVID-19 in humans and over 150,000 deaths. So people really want to blame somebody to have a Hollywood bad guy who invented the virus. But if that's true, the virus would be a Frankenstein's monster of a virus made by man. So virologists, probably funded and led by a desire to find the bad guy, have looked at the virus to check how it was man-made. And what they found was this. It's a complete very well sequenced virus that occurs naturally. But humans can make viruses by gene splicing known parts of pathogens together. No doubt military bioweapons labs are doing this right now, but they have a problem. When you genetically splice something together, it leaves fingerprints. The junctions are clunky, just like Frankenstein's monster was, as opposed to the Mona Lisa. So in a new report, virologists studying COVID-19 answered the question, is it man-made? And their answer is fascinating. Any weapon, any man-made virus you would see the joins. So how does that prove it isn't still man-made? Well, this is the nail in the man-made coffin. So imagine it was man-made, but today it appears beautiful and seamless. There's only one thing that can transform Frankenstein's monster into Mona Lisa, and that's time. So the investigating virologists have said, okay, it's made of say five man-made sequences that have been joined together, but now it's smooth. The time involved to turn Frankenstein into Mona Lisa would be 30 years. 30 years of being out there in nature mutating to sort out their clunky junctions. So it wasn't made in the Wuhan laboratory last year. It was made 30 years ago. Oh, hang on. But that doesn't work because 30 years ago, no laboratory, no scientists had the technology, the machines or the techniques to have made the Frankenstein's monster that now is the virus we see today. So there's no evidence of clunky junctions in this virus. And if it was man-made, it had to have been out there in society, in nature for 30 years. And 30 years ago, nobody could have made it. Thank <laughs> you.